guys, Christina with Forever Board Soapery here again today. I am going to make an attempt. I have this amber and oak moss scent from Windy Point that I really like. I am going to make an attempt at doing some mica lines in it. Um, I've done them before. I, I like them. They look good. Um, but I'm going to play with some colors today and change things up a bit. So we'll see how it works out. I'm using an iron oxide brown and then I'm definitely going to use the bright gold mica but I'm trying to decide if I want to do a line of the bronze as well. I might, I might, we'll, we'll just see how it goes as I progress and if I feel like I want to do it or not. Um, yeah. So we're gonna play with it a little bit. I'm just gonna use my standard recipe here today. So I'm just adding in my coconut oil here. I've already got my kaolin clay inside as well. My goat's milk's just finishing up, so I'm just gonna put it in. And yeah, so I'm my goat's milk and my lye, and then I'll blend everything up to emulsion today. Um, yeah, and we'll just kind of see how it goes. I might push it to Lake Trace. I do want to do some layers, so I might push it to light trace today. Um, I am going to pause you. I'm trying. going to try and shorten up my videos a little bit. They're super, super long, but my editing skills are meh. So I'm going to put you on hold, and I'll pop back once I've got it to trace, and then we'll go from there. Hey, guys. We're at emulsion here. I uh, had a thought when I was smelling the fragrance that it might accelerate just based on the smell it just smelled like one of those ones that would accelerate but i don't remember it doing that to me the last time i used it so i went and checked the reviews and there are some reviews that say it accelerates so i'm going to add in my color now and get it all mixed in um so that if i have to move fairly quickly hopefully i can do that i'm hoping they're wrong because I would really like to see a nice, nice Michael lines throughout this guy. But, hmm, we'll see. Hmm. Let's see how brown that goes there. That's only five, maybe six <laughs> teaspoons there. <laughs> heaping, but, um, let's see how it goes. just because I'm worried about it accelerating. I'm always, always nervous, but we're gonna go for it here. We've gotta, yeah, here we go. <laughs> hoping to do a lighter layer by adding some titanium dioxide as well. Let's see how lucky I get. Alright, there's 
just hoping that it's mixed sufficiently. And I'm just gonna pour the first layer here, bear with me. Just be a little bit off camera for this one. deep chocolate brown very happy with that okay and I'm gonna go straight for the mica line here for you guys and then we'll come back to this I'm gonna go with the gold mica line first, just in hopes that the lighter color really stands out. I've got this cool little tea ball thing that we're gonna try and use to get it to spread out really well. We've used this guy before, it seems to do pretty well. at getting it nicely dispersed. It's looking good so far. I'm trying not to add too much. I don't want my layers to come apart, but yet I do also want them to be very noticeable. I don't when it comes to the gold especially, I want it to really stand out. Which, looking good so far. Just gonna... So, Mica is definitely a very messy product to be working with. Okay, so we're gonna let that one work on setting up for me a little bit more. And then I'm gonna try, since we're not looking too bad yet, fingers crossed, we're gonna go ahead and try and add some titanium dioxide in here just to lighten up the next layer. sort of thing going in, in here as it is to being fully blended we're gonna let it have it because I think it's gonna be tricky otherwise so we're just gonna let it have it I think pouring is gonna be a lot easier out of one of these bowls so I'm just gonna switch some over here So what I'm not too concerned about is having perfect layers again. Um, that's not really on my must-haves list. So I'm just going to pour it down the side. going to let it fill completely over to the opposite side if that makes sense just to kind of have a, a wonky layer in here 
This just looks like chocolate right now. It does not smell like chocolate though. Okay. All right, so I don't know that you can see this really well, but it's not quite all the way over. It's just kind of on each side here. We're gonna go for that. And then we are going to, oh, wrong one, it's chocolate. I'm gonna try the bronze mica this time. There'll be a little bit of gold mixed in, but we are going to say that's just fine. That's the goal. Ooh, the, some sort of a draft from the furnace in here is really uh, moving this mica around. sprinkling it way back here, but it's in landing way over there. Really hope this will work out. Kind of a in the middle sort of deal. Not too much, but Just worried this particular one is just going to blend right in. Okay, that's our bronzy line. So, what do you think the chances are that I can get some more weight in here? I'm gonna try. Again, looking pretty thick already, but we're gonna give it a go. Just really want, not so much an ombre or anything like that, just distinct layers. <laughs> So good, guys. Again, not going to be too fussy about the way it looks. However, we are going to try and get this guy to pour again. Because using this was definitely nice. I'm not going to quite fill it as full this time, though. Because last time she was a little tricky the weight okay and then I don't think I'm going to color this one I think we're gonna let it be this color so we've kind of got our main level of the dark dark chocolate and then a couple of lighter levels sort of in the middle and then we will darken it up again so we can add another layer of the gold mica Okay, so let's give this a okie dokie. Everything's going the way I want it to. It is definitely accelerating, no question about that, but a nice acceleration if that's even a thing where you have to move fast, but 
It's not going to ruin your day because it's accelerating. So that's probably why I don't have any memory of it being a real issue. Because I did do this Michael line last time in this fragrance as well. A little bit different bar color and such, but I just had no memory of it being a real issue. And I would say that this is not a real issue for me. In fact, for layers, this is working out really well. Oops. Okay. That's our goals. And we are done with our mica lines. Now, we just need to add in our remaining batter, our mixture here. So I'm going to try and get it out of the bucket. This little spatula is beyond me. It always gives me that hand cramp. It's just cute and little, and I grab it and then I regret it. Okay. I have a little bit of the lighter stuff kind of around the edges here. I'm just gonna get it mixed in there. So we don't have some random color problems. All right, here we go again. Back on top. Just gonna try and scooch it down the middle and then I can tap it down. not overfill anybody. Actually know who needs what now. When it goes in this thick, it's like I have no idea what's getting filled and what's not. And just trying to get all my corners. Okay, that one looks good. Same deal, just trying to get into those corners here. Again, that one looks pretty good. This one can use a little bit more. I feel like my hand is cramping up so much that I'm having a tough time getting into 
get everything. If that makes sense. Out of my bowl. All right. So this is what I got. A big mess down here. And we're all a big mess. Now, how do I want to texture the top, guys? Mm hmm. This is kind of nice. Just a little zoop de zoop. I don't even know what you call this. But it's kind of giving me a little texture on top. I'm liking it. We'll go with it. So this fragrance, you know, I still feel like I have a tendency to say, oh, this is a masculine scent or this is a men's scent or whatever. But at the end of the day, true fact, it's ladies who are buying this soap the most. So I don't know that there's really any such thing anymore as a men's fragrance or a women's fragrance. Um, I had a guy in here the other day, he was grabbing my pomegranate marshmallow for himself and satsuma orange. Um, and I have this amber and oak in the sugar scrub. He had no interest in it. So it's just, I think people have just come to the point where they get to buy what they actually like and they do, which is fantastic. It's officially just, I have a scent and you can decide if you like it or not. Okay, messy as always, but there she is. So we've got the three Michael lines. I'm very happy that I pulled off all three. Um, the bright gold and the bronze made a huge mess. Everything is just blech, but I'm pretty happy with it. I'm looking forward to see what the final uh, look is here and how the patterns ended up looking with the lighter shades of brown and so on in the middle. So we'll leave that. I'll do my cleanup. I'll bring you guys back for the cup as, and yeah, we'll see what the inside looks like together. Hey guys, I'm back. It's the next day and we are good to go with regards to our oak and, uh, or oak moss and amber soap. It did soda ash like right quick too. Um, I actually haven't had been dealing with soda ash too terribly much since we started doing the water discount. Um, it's actually been really good, but this one here, soda ash, like right now. So we are going to steam that off. I'm just waiting for my little kettle here to warm up. And then we'll steam the tops to get rid of some of that soda ash. And then we'll be able to cut it and see what we get. Really excited to see what the Michael lines look like. It's such a dark chocolatey brown. I'm really hoping that they are going to stand out and be really noticeable. Um, I'm a little worried they're gonna blend in. Hope I'm wrong with that. But we will see. It just takes this little kettle a few minutes. I, I don't even know. I think I got this off Amazon for like 10, 15 bucks or something. It was just a cheapy one, um, but it does the job and I wanted something handheld and easy to work with. Um, and it, it definitely is that. I see steam coming out now, so we're gonna go for it. And I just get in here and steam away. And then now she's a bright, shiny, chocolatey brown. She's perfect. This one next. Oh, 
And again, like the difference between the two. I'll show you the next batch, next one here. So you can see the light and the dark, but it, it's, a, it's a drastic difference. And the shine really does seem to stay for me, usually. Um, I can't think of anywhere that didn't stick around once I shined it up, so that's good. So for example, you can see the difference there, the shine versus no shine. Just really pretties it up. Okay, and we're done. So that's just getting it all perfected there. Um, bear with me one minute and I will come back for the cut. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna go ahead and cut these guys. And we shall see what we get. I'm feeling a little bit confident about seeing the mica line. See if I'm right, but I'm feeling good about it. It's a very chocolatey looking color. It's like, wow, I definitely know if I want a chocolate brown that I want to use the brown iron oxide from now on. I did talk to my husband about why that one kept popping off. He seemed to think that it was because it's still too loose. So I tightened everybody up. Anybody that I could pull free, I tightened them up. So we'll see how they do. Um, let's start in the middle today for fun. Ooh, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this far away. Now it is faint, but I can see the mica line here here and here. So they're definitely showing up. That makes me super happy. And having those different, slightly different layers of brown really is adding some contrast to the soap, which I'm really liking. Like it's the faintest gold mica line, but you can see it and it, it really, jazzes up the, the soap. I almost wish I'd done this in like a chocolate fragrance, to be honest, like a, a deep dark chocolate scent. However, it still smells amazing. All right, very happy with round one. Let's see what we get for round two. I have come to the conclusion that I really do need to put it on my list of wants and needs that I need a camera or a stand that will come up and over so you guys can see things from the top. I know a lot of the YouTubers have that angle for you. I just don't have that option. My stand doesn't come up and over. And I had a, like a flexible type one, but it, it's not doing it either. It's a pretty cheapy one. But it would be so nice if you guys could have a nice close up of what I'm doing here and what it looks like. I just, uh, don't have that option right yet but I think I'd like to have it so it's on the the list of if my YouTube channel makes money where I can spend that money <laughs> so you know I'll never be making any money off of YouTube I swear because all I want to do is just buy things to be able to make the videos or to do the 
stuff for the shop. So for example, um, thing number one that I want to buy is the National Shrink Wrap System. Um, number two would probably be something to video from overhead. I think I would really like to be able to add in that angle. Um, what else? I'm sure there's a bazillion things that I'd like to have. I would love to get, it's not on my must have list by any means. It's more of a, it'd be nice to have. I'd love to have a soap cutter that does the horizontal so you can do the mantra swirls and stuff so you can cut down the, the middle. I don't have anything that cuts that way. So that would be super nice to have something like that. But um, I feel like it's something that I would use every now and then. So it's not on my top list of things to buy by any means. Um, I definitely would like some more signage for the shop. Um, I don't know that YouTube money would go towards that. I'd probably use shop money for that, but I uh, want to get like an A-frame sign or something for out front of the shop just to draw a little more attention. I'm kind of in a little bit of a, like I'm on a main street, but yet it's just in that kind of area where you don't necessarily look towards that. Um, so I, I would like something with a little better signage to draw people's attention to where I am. Definitely would like to be able to get some help with uh, my online presence as well. Learning more about SEOs and all that. Not sure where the white came from. Oh yeah, we did use TD, didn't we? Um, not sure. I just want to do a little bit better with uh, my online presence, making sure that I'm using the right descriptive words and that my SEOs and all that kind of stuff are a thing. I'm just not there yet. This one's pretty nice. I don't know if you could see it. If you remember, we added the TD just straight in, not with the oil, and you can see some little white flecks there. That's my TD not getting mixed in all the way. Not that I think it hurts the bar at all, just a thing that's there. Like I'm super happy with that nice light gold mica line. Very, very happy with it. One last one to go. So after I'm done the cut here, I am going to do my best to take some photos. And then I'm going to do my best to get it onto the website for you all to be able to pre-order if you want to. I don't know if I talked about it, but since I have gotten the water discount on these guys, I have been so happy with my cuts. So prior to that, I was waiting on average three to four days for my soaps to harden enough to take them out of the mold. And even then I was often still getting um, like little, it still wasn't fully dry, so you get like the sticky kind of to the side, so you get like a, a mush up the side of it or the ends and stuff. So it wasn't perfect, <clears throat> perfect by any means. <clears throat> and uh, what I did 
when I did started doing the water discount is it started just unmolding like right away within 24 hours, no problem. Um, it wasn't sticking to the sides anymore. Build that TV in that one. Um, it was it was looking really good. I guess is my point. Like it's it's just they're perfect little bars. I'm so happy with them. And I say little, but I have pretty big bars. I have a, another local person who sells soap in uh, the area um, in all the stores and stuff like that. And they sell a, a much smaller bar, which is fine. Lots of people prefer that smaller bar, but it, it just makes me realize how big my bars are in comparison. Every time I see theirs, I'm like, oh, mine are huge. <laughs> but they, I like them that way. They last longer for me. I like the way that they feel in my hand that I've got something to really grab onto. Um, yeah, I'm just overall very happy with them. With the size, as you can see, I have little hands, but that's that's a fair size of bar soap. Doing a good job. They usually work out to be about 120 grams ish. Um, I package them at 110, but they're usually more than that. I just want to make sure I'm covered if there's water discount and or water evaporation and all that that I've not taken into account. But these look good, so they should be ready in about four weeks' time. Um, if you want to purchase them, they will be on the website or of course in the store in about four weeks. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoyed watching me make my micro lines. Pretty happy with them. Talk to you soon.